let's get into this uh, study right now. Um, the doctrine of Godhead. As we do the right, rightly dividing, one thing we need to study is how do I study the doctrines rightly? If I don't study the doctrines rightly, then what happens? I get a wrong doctrine. Okay? And uh, it is important. That's why in 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15, the Holy Spirit tells us to study the word of God. Study to show thyself a prudent to God, a workman need, that needeth not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. truth. And so we need to study the word of God. If we don't study, and we will just take whatever people say. So right dividing simply means dividing the truth as God divided and applying those truth appropriately at the appropriate person for the appropriate role at the appropriate time. Alright? So, now what we are going to study is the doctrine of Godhead. The doctrine of? Godhead. Godhead. What, we may say, what is the doctrine of Godhead? In a common way, a very popular way, uh, the term Godhead simply means Trinity. What? Trinity. Trinity. Well, many people will reject the Trinity. The doctrine of Trinity. Because it's not found in the Bible. Bible. Just like the word Bible is not found in the Bible. Bible. Understand? The word rapture is not found in the Bible. Bible. But these truths are found in the word of God. So either you say Trinity or Triunity. All right, I like to go with the biblical word, the word Godhead. Understand? Now, how many God is there for Christians? Uh, uh, what does the Bible teach us about how many God? One, one, God. one God. What does Deuteronomy 6 verse say? Deuteronomy 6 4. Your, O oh Israel, the Lord, your God is? One, one. No, no, no. What? One, one, one Lord. One Lord. Your, O oh Israel, the Lord, your God, is one? Lord. Lord. So we find one, two, three. Alright? Now, it is not saying three God. One God, but manifesting in three persons. Understand? Now that we will find when more clear clarity comes in the scripture. But there is only one God. One God. Now, here before we go ahead, you must understand. If somebody claims to explain God completely then that person basically either is out of his brain or he thinks God is not that great enough. You understand? So nobody will be able to explain the doctrine of Godhead or the doctrine of Trinity completely. We will never able to. And God, and this is a good thing, and God would never, it is not completely possible or comprehensible for a person to explain God completely. We know a little bit, and from there we will be able to explain. So what is the doctrine of Trinity, if you have to say, or the doctrine of Godhead? The doctrine of Godhead is a mysterious doctrine of the majestic God. It is a mysterious doctrine of the majestic God, where you and I will not be able to understand completely, and that's why we are called to believe. The just shall live by faith. Understand? The just shall live by faith. If you can explain God, then He is not God at all. You understand? And that's why you or I will not be able to explain this doctrine completely. We can only give what we know a little bit. So the Bible says there is one God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is... The Lord our God is? One, one Lord. Lord. One Lord. Alright? Now... Uh, what we are seeing is, when we come uh, to the book of Genesis, when God is creating, we find something over there. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Can someone read for me quickly? And God said... And God said, who is saying? God. God is saying, not man. God said... Let us make man. What, what will make? Let us make man. Let us. Now, 
if you don't believe that in, in one God in three person, as I believe the Bible teaches, then you'll have to add word to say what you believe it is. But if you humbly and simply take what the Bible says, then we will be able to be like, okay, I may not understand everything, but this is what the Bible says, so I accept it. One God is saying, let us, us. us. so us is singular or a plural? Plural. 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 One God who always manifests in three persons is now saying in the time of creation, creating man, let us make man in our, our. He's not making mistake. He's speaking twice in plural there. One God is using the word us and our during the time of creating man. You understand? So this one God is manifesting himself in three person and this three person is existing from eternity to eternity. You understand? From eternity to eternity. It's not that once the father was there, then came the word and then came the spirit. No, no, no. From eternity to eternity. Co-eternal, co-powerful. You understand? So one God is saying us and ours. So in creation, we see plurality of the singularity of God. One God in three, uh, three persons. Now, so that's us and art. Now there is a commission that we read in the book of Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 16. Somebody can read for me loudly, fast. Come ye near unto me. Come ye near unto me. Hear ye this. Hear ye this. I have spoken in a secret form. I? I have not spoken uh, in secret. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. beginning. From the time that it was. From the time that it was. There am I. There am I. And now the Lord God. Now the Lord God. And His Spirit. And His Spirit. Have sent me. So who is speaking here? The second person. The Lord Jesus. Is speaking in Isaiah chapter 48 verse 16. The Lord God. And His Spirit. Has sent from the beginning. You understand? So the second person of the Godhead is telling that the first person and the third person of that Godhead, one person, has sent the second person. So when we speak about, so what do you believe in? I believe in one God in three person. Triune monotheistic. I believe in one God. Who manifest in three person. We see in Isaiah 48 verse 16. The second person of the Godhead, that is the Lord Jesus, is speaking that the Father and His Spirit, God, Lord God and His Spirit has sent me. Then we come to the New Testament in the, in the baptism of Jesus Christ. When Jesus comes to take baptism, in Matthew chapter 3 verse 16, 17, what it says? And Jesus... When he was baptized. Okay, so where is Jesus? In the water. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away. Went up straight away. Out of the water. Out of the water. And lo, the heavens were open unto him. Okay, and now Jesus up of the water. The heaven is open. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove. Spirit of God is descending like a it's, it's, The Spirit of God is not a dove. Not the Spirit of God has a form of a dove. Okay, his, his image is not a doubt. It looked like that. It appeared. It formed like that. What is that? And the spirit of? Spirit of God descending like, like a dove. Okay, spirit of God descending like a dove. And lighting upon him. And lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven. Okay, so the, now the voice. And lo, a voice from heaven. Saying. Saying what? This is my beloved son. This is my beloved son. Who is speaking? The father is speaking regarding the son. This is my beloved son. Who is descending? The spirit. Understand? One God manifesting in three different persons. Now people may not, uh, some people may say, oh, I don't understand. That's fine. 
The Bible says the just shall live by faith. Now if you say, well, I don't agree with you, that's the problem with the people. Some people don't be believe in the Godhead. They don't believe that one God can manifest in three persons. Can God manifest? Yes. Nothing is difficult for him. The only thing that he cannot do is commit sin. You understand? So, in the baptism, we see the sun in the water. We see the Holy Spirit coming like a dove. And then we see the voice of the Father saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well. Please, look at 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 13, verse 14. Paul is speaking and giving a benediction as he closes his epistle. And what he says, 2 Corinthians 13, 14? The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the love of God. And the love of God. And the communion of Holy Ghost. And the communion of Holy Ghost. Be with you all. Be with you all. all. We see the triune person is used by Apostle Paul to give the benediction to the church of Corinth. Again, Jesus, God, and the Holy Ghost. Alright? One God in three persons. Then, we see the Great Commission. Jesus is sending, right? In Matthew chapter 28, verse uh, 18 through 19. Matthew chapter 20, can somebody read? Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 and 19. And Jesus came. And Jesus came. And he spake unto them. And he spake unto them. Saying, yeah. All power is given unto me. Right. In heaven and in earth. Absolutely. Go ye therefore. Yes. And teach all nations. Mm. Baptizing. Them. How do you baptize? Baptizing them in the <coughs> name of the Father. Name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Father, Son. And of the Holy Ghost. Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost. That's how Jesus said, go, okay? Go and baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. One God in three persons. Now, is the Father God, is the Father the Son? No. no. Is the Son the Father? No. no. Yeah, one, God, one God, it is one God in three separate persons. Now, Father did not die on the cross. The Son died on the cross. The Holy Spirit did not die on the cross. The Son died on the cross. You understand? Um, so we find three separate persons, but yet they are one. Like somebody can read 1 John chapter 5 verse 7. 1 John chapter 5 verse 7 says what? For there are three. For there are three. That bear record. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Father, the Word, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost. These, these three are one. Are one. These three are one. one. You understand? Well, it's, uh, I, some people may say, "Well, I don't understand." It's, um, what I'm saying is, it's not whether you understand or not. Do you see what it says? And if you see what it says, then that is what it is. You understand? So we don't have to make it uh, become something that you want it to become. What the Bible says, take it as it is. The just shall live by faith. faith. This is one doctrine that we will never able to fathom or understand completely. And if you and I can understand completely all about God, then He is not God at all. This is the mysterious gospel of the uh, this is the mysterious doctrine of the majestic. God, one God in three persons. For there are three that be record in heaven: the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. one. Look at this. What does Paul say in First Timothy chapter three, verse sixteen? And without controversy. And without controversy. Great is the mystery. Great is the mystery of godliness. Godliness. God was manifest. In God the was manifest in the flesh. In the flesh. God. God was manifest in the Flesh. Who is that? The Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is God. The Father is God. The Holy Ghost is God. According to the uh, um, book of Acts chapter 5. If you read. Peter calls the Holy Ghost as God. Alright. So. Last verse we will read in John chapter 16 verse 4. 
John chapter 16 verse 4 John chapter 16 verse 14 mm. it says ah, 14 Sorry. he shall glorify me he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you and shall show it unto you, you. now what is the work of the holy spirit to glorify whom Jesus. the son jesus christ okay the word the son the jesus the lord jesus christ that's all the, but they are co-equal co-eternal and co-powerful and yet what happened when it comes to ministry the son submits to the father the holy spirit submits to the son father son glorifies the father the holy spirit glorifies the son but this three person is one that's what the bible teaches here o israel the lord our god is one lord and then we find and the Lord God and His Spirit has sent me in Isaiah 48 verse 16. God Himself says, let us make man in our image. So what the Bible teaches is, the Bible teaches that there is only one God, but this one God manifests Himself to mankind in three separate different persons. According to 1 John chapter 5 verse 7, there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. one. Understand? Mm. All right.